What's going on, guys? There's Ruben on stage. Wow. I can't believe it. You guys got to see Ruben for the first time. How's it going, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we have a very, very good show today. We're going to be talking about uh, Solana because Solana is definitely something that um, I invested in. We've invested in into it in the managed vault, and it's done very, very well. Um, it's been outperforming Bitcoin. It's been outperforming Ethereum since it's low. We still haven't hit its all time high, but let's, let's jump into the chart here because I do want to show everybody. Now we're going to talk about Solana, but we're also going to talk about, um, we're going to talk about what it is that we, sorry, give me one sec. I just need to make sure. All right. We're on the, we're on the right one here. All right. So we want to talk about like, why Solana and exactly, you know, what it's, it's done, its performance has been, but also, you know, for those of you that were around during the last bull market, okay. I want to, I want to find the next Solana that did, that's going to do this. Okay. I want to find the next Solana that's going to do this in 86 X or a hundred X or, you know, who knows, maybe, Maybe you got some people got into Solana like all the way down here, you know, and all the way to this top, and it was a hundred x almost, right? That's that's what I'm looking for, you know. Another crypto that I talk about a lot that I did really really well on, and this is a this is kind of a cool story, all right. This is kind of a cool story. Let's see if we can find uh, Matic on USDT. Okay, so check this out. So. Matic, I actually got into Matic like somewhere back here. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me make this bigger. Okay. Cause I need, I need the effects on this. See, like I got in Matic like somewhere down here. It's like so, so small compared to where it's at right now. It's not even funny. Okay. It's so small. Let me see if I can, cause I want to draw on this. I want to, I want to, I want to take everybody to this experience. Okay. So essentially I got a nomadic like in June or July of 2020. Okay. Like all the way down here. And this thing just went absolutely haywire. Okay. I ended up making like, so here's what happened. I got in, I was doing, um, high frequency trading bot trading. And I was constantly trading multiple different cryptos. And for some reason, for some reason, I ended up getting out of my Matic position. I probably put five, $6,000 in the, in the trade. And there was like $200 worth of Matic just left over. All right. And when I came back, I, it, cause I stopped dealing with centralized exchanges and I went full DeFi. I, I like the high frequency trading, but I was just like over decentralized exchanges. And I was making way more money doing like yield farming, which is kind of dead. Um, and just making like way, way more money over there. It was just like every day, honestly, I'm not even kidding you guys and gals. I could go and pluck out a thousand or 2000 bucks and wouldn't even feel it every day. It was just like amazing, amazing. So I forget about it. And then I ended up coming back and again, you know, look, I invested like somewhere down here and that $200 was like $50,000. Okay. And I must've just gotten it like right at the right time. Cause I, I went back to some of my centralized exchanges. Cause every once in a while I'd find hundred bucks here, 200 bucks there, whatever. Right. And I go in and I see like 40,000 or 50,000 or something like that. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, what is this? Like, is this just, is this like, you know how sometimes you like see it and it's like win up to, so I'm like thinking like, oh, well maybe they're just like tempting me that I can win. Like, but why does my balance show that? And I go into my cryptos and lo and behold, Matic had just freaking super moon. All right. It did this, it did this. And I was freaking out. I was just like, oh my gosh. And coincidentally, it just had lined up, it just had lined up with um, everybody jumping into the Matic blockchain to provide liquidity and yield farming. And we just made, I mean, I'm talking a killing. I made, 
probably in just the span of a couple months, like literally two, three hundred thousand dollars in the Matic ecosystem. It was so badass, so badass. Okay. So, anyways, what I'm looking for is the next Matic. What I'm looking for is the next Solana. Okay. And that to me is is really a big deal. And I have one. I'm gonna, I, I, was, I was I put in the chat or in the description a couple of cryptos. I want to stay on one. I want to stay on one. Okay. And that one is injective. All right. That one is injective. But before we get into that, let's go to um, market cap of this is a tool that I use to dream. This is my dreaming tool. All right. And this is like, if I take a look at a platform and I'm like, okay, is it is can this platform really get to or this blockchain really get to a Matic? Can it get to an XRP? Can it get to whatever? Right. And, and I think INJ is like one of them that can get to those all time highs from, from last, uh, bull market. So let's, let's just take Solana. All right. Let's take Solana and injective to go from injective to Solana's price right now. And I'm going to tell you why I'm looking at injective. You're looking at a 24 X. All right. That's not bad. So meaning if you put in a thousand dollars and you don't like leverage trade it, you don't do any liquidity pools to earn like additional interest, which is what we teach. All right. Um, then you end up with just 24,000 bucks, man, that's pretty darn good. Right. But let's take a look at the all time high. The all time high, it would be 27 because it's very close to its all time high right now. So 27 X. So you're, that's an additional 3000. So right now, Okay, injective, which I think it's probably going to go higher than this. This bull market is just getting started. All right, just getting started. Uh, I'm doing a 2x leverage. So two times leverage means that if it were to hit this all time high, that means that I would end up with a uh, 54, well, let's say 55x. So if I invested, uh, $1,000, I would be sitting on $55,000. Now I've invested way more into injective, uh, north of $10,000. Okay. And, and I'm, I've doubled that in, in terms of leverage. Okay. And I'm not going to talk too much about leverage today because I've talked about it a lot and I don't want to beat a dead horse. I'll show you, I'll show you my position, my, my smaller position, because I have a bigger position but I'm going to, I'm going to only show you guys my 5k to $1 million position. Okay. So, uh, so what would, what would I do? Like, why is it that I'm like, why do I think injective is going to be good? Okay. Well, I did a lot of research on injective and we actually called injective last year. Let's go, let's go. Actually, one more thing. Let's actually look at, uh, from here to Matic. It's so it's going to be a little bit less. But let's say, let's just go into Matic as well, just to see what it looks like if it only hits Matic or Matic's all time high as well. So, so it would only be a 2.74X. So I wanted like taper expectations, right? But let's take a look and see if it's a Matic's all time high. That's a 6X. All right. So that's still really darn good returns. All right. Two point, almost 3X and almost 6X. Okay. So we want to taper our expectations. All right. I think that it's going to go way higher than this, but again, maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't. Okay. Now, why do I think that it's going to do so much better? Well, anytime that I get into a crypto, there's a couple of things that happen. I actually want to see, you know, like go directly to its website. So I usually go through CoinGecko cause I know it's going to be the, the official one. All right. And we're going to just come here. What Injective is doing, okay, by the way, real quick, if y'all like what I'm talking about right now, can you smash that like button uh, on YouTube or on Facebook or on X? Because the more people or the more people that smash that button, the more people come. And I want to, I want to be bringing like, it's so confusing nowadays, guys and gals, like which crypto do I get into? Do I go full DGen? Do I go into the memes, the memes, all right? 
or do I go into the AI or I do, you know, like, so let's educate people like why they're getting into these. All right. And, and, and understand like, look, if you're going to get into the memes, all right, the memes, the memes, the memes, you're, you're gambling with your money. All right. I don't like gambling. I like taking calculated risk. All right. I like taking calculated risk. So essentially what, um, what this is doing, okay. What this is doing is it's allowing people to get on a much faster layer one blockchain. Okay. And what injective has done is they, they built their blockchain on, uh, the cosmos ecosystem. Okay. And the cool thing about Cosmos is that it's got like a fully interoperable blockchain. Okay. It's got a fully interoperable blockchain and that blockchain, like I can connect very easily from my injective to my osmosis, to my Chihuahua, which is a blockchain. All right. To my, uh, whatever. Okay. Whatever other blockchains. And there's probably like hundreds of them at this point in time that have different different functions, but injectives function is not just to be fast. What they're really focused on is derivatives. Okay. And their main derivative, uh, um, exchange is called helix app. Okay. And helix is basically a way where institutions could come in with low latency. And I'm going to explain what that is and trade this. So what is low latency? So as like a, a scalper trader, okay. Not necessarily like a swing trader. All right. A scalpel trader, they are getting in and out. Some of them even before half of a second. Okay. Even before like 25% of one second or 0.25% of one second. Okay. They're so fast because they're able to basically front run, okay, um, the traders that are getting in by using like technology and strategies to make lots and lots of money. Now it requires like a lot of heavy duty uh, equipment and I'm, and I'm actually working on finding different things. I'm always looking for new opportunities, all right? I'm always, always looking for new opportunities. But Helix is, is essentially getting uh, a lot of traction because it's more focused on the institutional side. All right. The institutional side. Um, and so that's, that's really like what I like about injective and why I think injective is going to be, uh, the blockchain of the future. Now there's other blockchains. Yes, they're fast. They're this, that, but the ones that are like really, really specially niched. Okay are the ones that I'm looking at, are the ones that I'm looking at. Now, let's take a look at ChatGPT because I actually, um, I got into uh, researching Injective the other day, okay? And the thing that I liked about Injective, so one, I like that it's fast, okay? That's cool, that works for me, okay? It's interoperable across Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and Aptos. That's great. It's interoper interoperable with all the Cosmos ecosystem. That's really good, right? All these things are I'm liking. Now, here's the thing that I that I actually liked a lot as well. Let's, let me highlight this. So the tokenomics of INJ involve a maximum supply of 100 million tokens with uh, mechanisms like staking, exchange fee value capture, and deflationary burn systems where 60% of all protocol fees are burned weekly. Uh, this buyback and burn mechanism is one of the largest in the crypto industries and serves to reduce the overall supply over time, potentially increasing the token scarcity and value. Uh, market makers and developers are incentivized to participate in the ecosystem with rewards from the fees generated. See, I really like this. I really, really like this because a lot of these blockchains nowadays, it's like they're spoiled, right? They're just like, whoa, you know, like we don't really pay anything out, but you got governance, bro. You got governance. You can like vote on what we're going to do. And it's like, yeah, but that doesn't like really give the token value. All right. 
it doesn't give the token value. And so what, what, I'm, what I'm always looking at is like, okay, where's the value in the token? Where's the value in the token? Because if there, if it's just like another run of the mill blockchain, we already got the two biggest ones, essentially like Bitcoin, you can mine Bitcoin at least, right? Or you have staking, okay, with ETH where you're making whatever, four or 5%, maybe some of these other blockchains where you're staking, like another one that I'm really bullish on, on is Tia, all right? But this is definitely um, a blockchain where I really, really like. I like when they're sharing their fees. I like when they're burning their fees, okay? That reduces the supply. And I like when the supply is capped, okay? So those are things that I, and then, and then, now what do we need? What's the missing magical part of this? We need people using it. We need people using it. Okay. But I'm not going to like a lot of people are already using Ethereum. A lot of people are already using, uh, well, Matic as well. A lot of people are, are already using, um, Solana. Okay. So what is it that like, why am I getting in this early before a lot of people are using this? Well, that's what's going to drive the, the value of the token up and also speculation. All right. There is also some a speculative a, a aspect of this. Think of Tesla, Apple. I mean, the the profit, uh, what's it called? You guys have the, not the PL, the, anyways, there's a ratio in there. I don't do stocks. All right. I don't do that manipulated shit. Um, but, there is a ratio in there that basically takes the the profit to the share, the, the share to profit ratio. And somebody drop it in the chat. I'm drawing a blank on it. Um, but the, and people are speculating that because the price is so high compared to like the profit that's going on, they're speculating that Tesla is going to do those prices, right? Or Apple is going to do those prices, right? So here's the same exact thing. All right. We're betting that more and more people and institutions or whatever are going to use INJ. Okay. Are going to use INJ. And again, one of the things that I do like about it though, is that they're focused on that low latency. They're focused on that low latency. All right. Uh, if you're just joining us and you're not part of the channel, Give us a like if you like the, the content that we're providing. And then also give me a follow and turn that notification button on because we do go live very frequently. And I'm, guys, I'm going to full disclosure here. All right, full disclosure. I'm not an influencer. All right, I'm not an influencer. I'm a professional investor. All right, I literally manage a an on-chain, Not I don't want to call it fun managed vault. Okay. And we'll talk about that in a later date. I've talked about it before, but we'll talk about it at a later date. And so I don't necessarily have all the time in the world to be an influencer. All right. So when I get on, I'm actually getting on to bring you as much alpha as possible, as much alpha as possible. Okay. And I'm trying to bring the stuff that's going to bring value to you as an investor. Again, I'm not an influencer because I suck at posting, <laughs> but when I'm here, I'm here. All right. So do me a favor. YouTube's one of my favorite platforms. Head over there, follow me, put on that notification button because when I do go live, I want you to be on. I want you to see what's going on here. And it helps bring more people to where they don't end up in the trenches of like a BitBoy crypto where he doesn't even know DeFi really. Like he talks about it, like he knows it, but he doesn't know it. He doesn't actually trade on it. He doesn't provide liquidity. He's not doing borrowing and lending. Like he was still talking about like Celsius and all that stuff back in the day. A lot of these guys do that as an influencer because that's what they're focused on. They're not focused on, they're focused on getting like advertising dollars. All right. I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on bringing value. Okay. Bringing value. So again, I see, I see the amount of people ticking up. That's good. That means you guys are hitting the like button. All right. So Let's get rid of this. This is like a bullshit article that, and then we already came here. We already did this. All right. So let's take a look at what I'm doing, what I did in this, um, for this trade, because I like injective. 
um, I'm probably going to provide liquidity uh, in in the staking aspect of of uh, INJ. Okay, and you can do the oh man here. I think you can do that directly here from the website. You're gonna need a um, a Kepler wallet. Okay, which is this wallet is for Cosmos ecosystem, and you're gonna need to connect it. But let's see here. I thought I saw. Okay, here start. Start building, start staking. Oh man, I saw the staking aspect of it. Oh, here, stake INJ. Okay. Uh, so it's going to take you to their, the Cosmos ecosystem hub. You connect your wallet and then you can, you can stake there and let's see. So not bad. So they're paying 15.91%. So if you don't want to take on like too much risk, and guys, gals, there's risk. I just put a video out to my, to my students. Okay. When you're, when you're doing leverage trading, there is risk. All right. Don't think that there's no risk, you know, like, look, uh, technically I'm only down like five, six percent, five percent, 6%, five and a half percent on this trade. But because I went in with two times leverage, it's caught the losses have compounded. So I'm down 11% in all actuality. And if it hits this number, 22 bucks, vaporware, vaporware, my crypto turns into vaporware. All right. So this is definitely not, uh, not what you want to do. Okay. You want to, you want to make sure well, you want to do it. If you want to, if you understand what you're doing, if you don't understand what you're doing, come over here, put your injective in here, you can stake it at 15.91%. You take way less risk. It's not going to turn into vaporware. And you'll qualify for di different uh, airdrops, maybe, maybe. A Cosmos ecosystem was built on airdrops, okay? They are like the kings of airdrops. But Cosmos ecosystem uh, is notorious for doing airdrops. And Injective is built on uh, Cosmos ecosystem. So if there's like a new thing, new blockchain uh dap that they want to bring back on or they want to bring on in the injective hub you, you don't think you're going to get an airdrop you probably are and by the way ruben do me a favor put in the banner if you can if you're interested in learning like going deep we teach staking we teach the strategies that we use to airdrop hunt we teach all sorts of things we teach what we're buying in detail, how to set these things up. We have a full-blown app. It's on the Apple store. It's on the Google store. It's on your desktop, everything. No other crypto education company is doing this, by the way. We're the only ones, all right? And we've got, man, how many coaches? I think we have seven or eight coaches. So it's not just me. I'm actually going to start bringing on one of our coaches, Casey, Coach Casey. She's a lovely human being. She's been, been featured in TEDx um, knows I, like I, I go and ask her questions. She's just become kind of like the Yoda. We have coach Igor. I'm going to bring him on here. Uh, one of these days we're building our YouTube studio over there. So, um, but if you're interested in learning Ruben, put the, the actual website there though, put the website in there. Cause we need, we need the website and the, and the link. We're going to give you 50% off our monthly membership. All right. Typically it's 197, 194 per month. It's $97 with this code that Ruben put in there. All right. It's arc YT 50. So throw that code in. If you like what you're hearing, if you want to like dive deep into this, all right. And like guys, gals, we have classes almost every single day of the week, except for Sundays because Boppy needs to rest. All right. And he's got to be with his family. He's got to be with his family. The most important thing. All right. So, so what did, what did I do here? So I set this up. Let's see when I put it in, uh, trades. Oh man. Okay. Gosh, I need to cancel this actually. Uh, oh man, hold on. I don't have my wallet with me. All right. So here's, you can go into my trades and you can take a look at some of these things. So injective, I actually ended up putting uh, this injective in on three, six of 2024. And you can see here, uh, I'm down 10%, right? I'm down 10%. Now 
Let me tell you something, okay? You need to watch these like a fox, all right? You need to watch these like a hawk, not like a fox, like a hawk, all right? Why do you need to watch this? Because if you start getting close to this liquidation price, I don't roll with a stop loss. And some of you are like, oh my gosh, somebody told me you have to have a stop loss all the time. I mean, you can, but the problem with the stop loss is, let's say for instance, you set a stop loss and it's happened to me a bajillion and one times. And traders would be like, oh, okay, well, that's the risk that you run. But you, you, you put it in, it hits the stop, it bounces right off the little tiny dip of the stop loss and then it, it reverses, all right? I don't want that to occur for me. I don't want that to occur. Now, if you're using maybe like higher leverage, like anything above two times leverage for me, all right? Unless you're just, you have a magical mystical ball, okay? Of, of splendid fortune telling, which all these guys are full of shit. I'm a, I'm a long-term thinker when it comes to these investments. But you wanna have some money on the side and you have to do this. And this is what I call my two bullet system. So I usually have double the amount of money, USD value, that I'm ready to put in, in any of these positions at any given point in time. Up until, up until I get to like a 353% on Bitcoin, or up until I get to 173% on Ethereum, or up until I get to 1800% on Solana. And these are, these are my profits on all of these, okay? This is my... Again, my 5000 5, to $1 million portfolio, okay? I'm showing all my students how I'm doing this on a weekly basis. I'm dollar cost averaging into these things. But you also, again, when you're this close to the line, I'm always, I have my money stashed away there. It could be in Bitcoin, could be in Ethereum. And if you're going to do that, you want to make sure it's way over collateralized so that in the event that you need to liquidate it, then you put it in here. Okay. You put it in here, but that's where, that's what I'm looking. Now there's another one here. Look at this Tia. Okay. Negative 72% because I've had to add collateral again. So, um, this is where I'm at right now. That's okay. All right. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. I just need to make sure that this is covered. So I don't get liquidated. All right. This is what we call the two bullet system. And, and the reason we have two bullets is because most likely there's no guarantees that you're not going to get liquidated, by the way. But most likely, you'll be able to add collateral in enough time to do that. Now, some of you may be like, man, I don't want anything to do with that. Sweet. Then let's teach you how to do this. Let's teach you how to stake safely. Let's teach you how to set up your wallet. You know, let's teach you how to set up all your antivirus, all your VPNs, all that stuff so that you don't have any issues going forward. All right how to set up your hard wallet, and then go the, go down the conservative route. I mean, I still have all that stuff set up, but I just know like more technical stuff. And I have students that are like this technical, and I have students that are this technical. All right, but all in all, you're not going to get 15.91% by having your freaking money on Coinbase. You're not going to get 15.91% on Binance, especially Binance.us, for having your injective on their protocol. All right. But you will hear and you'll qualify for airdrops. You won't qualify for airdrops over there. All right. You won't qualify for airdrops over there. So, uh, again, Ruben, do me a favor, drop. If you're interested in learning and by the way, if you're part of our class, can you, if you, or you signed up already, can you drop that in the chat? I want to see how many people we have here that are already signed up. I want to, I want to get as many of you signed up. We have a goal. We have a goal of a million people on our platform. We have a goal because this works with, with mass adoption. That's the only way we're going to do it. All right. That's the only way we're going to do it. So if you're in the chat, let people know, let people know again, Ruben just dropped it here. You can go to arcrypto.io forward slash galaxy. Don't forget to add the code. Okay, it's ARC YT50. That's the discount code. We're giving you 50% off right now. And that's coming close to an end. All right, that's coming close to an end. So get in there. All right, let's get you signed up. 
Let's get you learning DeFi. Right now we're on a dip. I haven't even talked about the dip. That's how not scared I am. But let's take a look at let's take a look at this Bitcoin dip. All right. Let's see. BTC US dollar. All right, man. Look at this. This is ugly. This is ugly, but we're gonna let I'm gonna show you why this why this isn't scaring me. Okay. Why this isn't scaring me. Yeah. So like if you go all the way down here, yeah, like a nine percent dip. All right. That's not wait, no, it's gotta be a little bit more than that. It's, oh no, it's spiked up here. All right, let's go spike to spike. 15% dip. The boomers are shitting their pants. The boomers are shitting that bought the Bitcoin ETF. This is like a Monday for us, guys. This is like a Monday. All right. Like, don't don't be scared because these are these are the sorts of things that happen. Let's like, I mean, let's go back here to, you know, like 2017. You know what I'm saying? Let's say 2017 right here. Look at this. All right. These dips were way gnarlier. 35%. All right. We're only at like what? 15%. 35%. These were like jaw dropping, jaw dropping, uh, loss, not losses, but just look 41% here. All right. 41% candles. And then like, and then things just like kind of taper off. Like I was, I called one of my partners, look at this 30%. I called one of my partners yesterday. I'm like, dude, thank God. It just kind of cooled off. All right. It kind of cooled off. Cause like one, I want to keep adding more. All right. I want to keep adding more. Um, but we're not done by any means guys and gals. We're not done by any means. We still have the Bitcoin having coming up. Um, we still have a lot of technology that's being built. Gaming is going to be a huge, huge, huge thing. Uh, maybe I can talk about gaming next time we get on. I'll talk to you about a couple of the gaming projects that I'm in. Uh, but gaming still hasn't popped off. AI still hasn't popped off. The memes have, but that's just like irrational, stupid, dumb shit money. All right. Don't fall for the stupid, dumb shit money, guys and gals. Uh, get into stuff that works. Like, again, th these are. In my opinion, Bitcoin is way safer. Leverage trading Bitcoin is way safer than getting into the dipshit DGEN money. All right. Don't get into that. Don't get into that. All right. Look, we got some, we got some people signing up. We got some people signing up. Guys, gals, right there is the link. ARcrypto.io forward slash galaxy. Um, there's the code 50% off. Originally the price is 194 bucks. It's down to 97. Your grandfathered in at that price. All right. Before prices go back up, get in now. I'm telling you right now, there's a dip. All right. And you want to be educating yourself so you can take advantage of these dips. And I want to be the one that helps you along with our other coaches. We've got a lot of other coaches as well. So anyways, that's all I got for today. Guys, gals, take a look at Injective. Um, I'm not a shiller. Um, I'll be showing you when I'm going to sell injective. That's a whole other thing. Okay. I'm going to show you when I'm going to be selling injective, um, in another, in another one of these lives, but let's, let's, uh, let's get in first. Let's get into these things. Let's get making that 15% or that extra hundred percent, uh, in injective. All right. By doing leverage trading, or we got other things too. We can also do, um, we can, you know what? Let's take a look at one last thing. Let's take a look at one. Last. Let's go to osmosis. Osmosis. There we go. All right. Let's take a look at what we got here in osmosis. Cause you can probably provide a liquidity. This is like kind of the decentralized exchange for, um, for the cosmos ecosystem. Let's take a look here. Let's see if there's anything worth worth our time here with injective. INJ. All right, so INJ USDC, which I would never do this pair. 58%. I would never do that pair. I would probably do this pair though. INJ uh Osmo. I would definitely do that pair. That's paying 50%. Now, this is probably on concentrated liquidity, I'm assuming. Let's see here. Or is it the old if it's concentrated liquidity, we may be able to do even better. 
but let's see where where we're at no it's it's level yeah so okay so you're earning 45.9 percent now there's less risk with these with these old school uh uh decentralized exchanges and i'll show you so you're making 45 percent. so that means 45 percent more in osmosis so more osmosis so if you put uh one osmosis or one injective in here you would get 0.5, 0 0.45 osmosis or 0.5 because you, if you bond it, uh, you can actually make an extra f almost 5%. Okay. So I, like I would, I would probably bond it. All right. If you want to go, but you, d you also don't experience too big of impermanent loss. It's still a concern, um, but it's not so big. So this actually looks like a juicy one to me osmosis and injective especially if you like both of these pairs and osmosis is the cryptocurrency for this exchange and it's also a way for you to come over here and you can bridge you can bridge all of these cryptos super easily it's so easy and there's no like bridge risk like you know the evm compatible stuff there's a lot of bridge risk uh, uh, Cosmos ecosystem has such it, it's so dialed in bridging is so easy. So easy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, sign up down below. You'll see there, go to arcrypto.io forward slash galaxy. You're going to get 50% off. If you want to learn how to do this, if you want to learn how to make an additional 45% on your osmosis, on your, on your, um, uh, INJ sign up. It's 97 bucks a month. Shoot. I mean, it's way better than Netflix or Disney plus way better than that crap. All right. You're going to lose time here. You can make money here. You can make money. All right, guys, gals, one last thing. If you're not ready to take the commitment. All right. And there's no, by the way, there's no like time period. You have to be on. If you decide you want to quit after one month, you can. And we have a 15 day money back guarantee. There's nothing, nothing that you really need to do. All right. I mean, it's just like 97 bucks. See if you jive with it 15 days. Hey, I want my money back. Cool. Now here's the thing. Um, where was I getting at? If you're not ready to take that jump, if you're not ready to take that jump, hit that like and subscribe button and just jump on and see if it resonates with you before making that jump. See if you see if we see if we match. Guys, gals, I'll be on on Thursday. All right. I'll be on on Thursday. It's part of our series, our four week series that we got coming up. It's going to be a juicy one. All right. It's teaching you guys how to become truly free using crypto. All right. The last couple of weeks, I showed you how to basically geo arbitrage, how to save money in taxes. Okay. How to save money in living. And then what I'm doing with that money. And, and showing you the calculations in our retirement calculators so that you can be realistic about your expectations. So I'm going to keep continue that, uh, we're on week three, then next week will be the last week, week four. Uh, but let's get into this. It's going to be Thursday. Um, and it, it, there should be already on my, um, on my YouTube, a thing there. Uh, and if not, if you go to arcrypto.io, and sign up for our newsletter. You can also get access to that and watch it directly from our streaming platform. All right, guys and gals, lots of love, lots of love. I will see you on Thursday. If you're part of the ARC, I'll see you tomorrow. And I got a killer, killer crypto that I think is going to do even better uh, than Injective uh, that I'm really, really eyeing. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing with it. All right, everybody. Love you all. See you Thursday or Wednesday.